And hello to all friends. Potatoes are with you too. Yuxi, Jupi. And today, we are going to build another cool factory with you. Only this one will make endless quartz from cobblestones. Imagine quartz made of cobblestone. This plant was invented, of course, by our favorite subscriber Gazd. Just a brilliant inventor. We have already made an iron plant based on its buildings. Then we will make another gold plant. And today we will make an infinite quartz plant with you. It is absolutely infinite. Just absolutely infinite. And it will never lag because it is made very elaborately and there will never be such a thing in it that there will be a boulder lying around somewhere some kind of unnecessary stone everything is destroyed and everything is very compact so let's get down to building it faster so this time the construction of the plant will be divided into four stages let's see what we have to do in the first stage so in the first stage we will need 11 of any blocks four of any steps two observers one reversing mechanism two wireless transmissions of a restone signal one redstone one extender, one powered lever switch, a birch button, of course, two woolsterns, four buckets of lava, two buckets of water. Of course we need, we will need energy just like last time, and we will certainly get it, in our case with the help of a creative motor. So, the second stage is the extraction of cobblestones. To do this, we will need two gantry crane shafts, four mechanical drills, one gantry crane chassis, one block of any kind. Of course, a firing pin, a brass funnel, and super glue, along with a wrench, as without them. The third stage we will have is the processing of cobblestones. This will require, of course, nine gears, two shafts, two vertical gearboxes, a mechanical arm, two crushing wheels, two gearboxes, one depot, two brass funnels, a filter for flint and a lump of clay, one sand, a wrench, of course, if we haven't lost it yet. And the fourth stage will be sand processing. So. We will need a depot, two bonfires, a shower, a fan in the case of four pieces, two brass funnels, a sand shower, seven woolsterns, one shaft, a smart jelly, one piece of iron, of course quartz, any five blocks, two barrels, two buckets of water, one bucket of lava, a wind turbine bearing mills, eight white sails, and of course a wrench, which you most likely will already have. Therefore, Let's get to the first stage faster. We take all the resources that have already been named, and we will build the cobblestone generation faster. Let's build it right here, and to begin with, we take any auxiliary blocks, we can even land. We put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight blocks. Then we put our building blocks already. Let's say here's the first one, and these ones, let's sit down from below and break our auxiliary ones. Then, we put another auxiliary block here, because there is nowhere without it. We retreat here once, two blocks. Here, we put a building block, we break these, and here is also a building block. Then we also take the building blocks. We put one, two, three for here. From this side, we are here one block, here two, here three. We break this one ourselves. Next, you will need to install an observer. The observer is the first to be placed so that he looks at this block. Let's break this one down, and we put the second observer on another observer in such a way that he looks at it, and as a result, the entire signal is transmitted. Here we also put one building block. Then we will need to put the reversing mechanism vertically right here always vertically. On this side, we are putting wireless transmission of cross signals. We make him any code. Let's say we make two steps here, and here, by the way, we also do not forget to make it exactly for receiving the signal. And we are doing the signal transmission from this side. Here we put it here. Of course, we also make steps for it, the same code, or rather purity. Here next, we put the power switch lever. Here we put the pulse extender. We have eight ticks set up. Here one will melt the dust, and here here is a button. Then, we just need to place the lava together with the water here. Let's start with lava first. So here we put auxiliary blocks. One, two, three, four. We break it down and put here such a small pool or something where the water will be located first. And we will also break this one. Here it turns out that we pour out a bucket once and twice, four and three. Then we take it into the lava, put it here, one, two, three and four. We end up with a cobblestone here, an infinitely cobblestone. Here, it is generated and generated again. This is exactly what we were trying to achieve, and all of this is quite compact with us. And here, we have installed the mechanism for the next stage. It will be just the same, so to speak, our brains, for the extraction of all this cobblestone. All that remains for us here is to put one gear, and also two gears, and finally, a creative motor. Let's make a maximum speed here, positive and 256. Well, now we move on to the next stage. We take again, all 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 resources. Also, do not forget about the wrench, because without it, there will be a screed here, and now we will need to do the following, namely, place a mechanical drill here once, and in such a way that it looks up. And also, by the way, 
Do not forget to place two shafts of the portal crane here, once, and also twice. Then we take glue, put glue here, glue here, a mechanical drill here, a mechanical drill here, also glue here, and gelatin here. Also glue in a mechanical drill here. Look, do not put glue on the cobblestone, otherwise everything will just stick and nothing will be extracted. And also from below, we have a cat meowing, distracting me. Also here we lubricate with super glue, and put the chassis of the gantry crane. Here you will also need glue, put a block here, and finally, the last glue, and a barrel here. Here we will store all the cobblestones. Just the same, thanks to this barrel, the cobblestone will not fly apart, and accordingly, there will be no lags. And now we have to do the last thing, it's to quickly break the block, here in the store, and put a brass funnel, which we will subsequently pump out of this barrel, which will move higher, all the cobblestones, and send them for processing. Let's move on to the next third stage. Here, we will have the processing of cobblestones into sand. To do this, we take all the resources that have already been named, and also do not forget about a wrench. Because without it, in my opinion, it is not even possible to cope here. Then we take the depot, we put it right under our funnel. All the cobblestones will be stored here. In the future, we will drop it directly on the crushing wheels, which will be located a little lower. Now, it is advisable for us to make a feed for those crushing wheels before leaving. To do this, we take a gear, and first we put a gear here, a gear here on the side, then a shaft here, and another gear here another gear here. Then we put the shaft here. Now we need one vertical gearbox that looks in that direction. Here, we put a gear with you, then another gear, so that it is attached to this gear. Then, we put the gearbox on this gear, we put the crushing wheel here. On this side, we put one shaft on the gearbox, here, another gearbox, and here, finally, the crushing wheel. Thus, it turns out, that all these crushing wheels are spinning in the right direction and can already process cobblestones and gravel into sand. Next, we need to make such a mechanism so that we get gravel here. This gravel was sent back for processing to the same crushing wheels. That is, our state Duma has come up with such a thing that we do not need as many as four crushing wheels, but we can do with just two to run the cobblestone twice for processing in order to get our sand as a result. And to do this, we need to go to the back here and we will have a mechanical arm located right here. But before that, by the way, it will be desirable to locate a depot here. To do this, let's take it here and up. This is where the depth will be located. We put here one letu on the funnel, and also two letu on the funnel. We are setting up this brass funnel for the following. This is a filter, a flint, and also a lump of clay. That is, we will have garbage that will be thrown out in the end somewhere here, so we will make that hole shorter in the end. And we put sand in the other filter. Processing will continue here, but here it will end, and everyone's garbage will be dumped. In the future, we will pour lava there with you. Then, we take a mechanical arm, and set it up, in a very clever and correct way. First we poke at the bottom top, once. Here in the A end, it is written, that we take items from the depot, and also poke at the upper depot. It is also written, that it takes items from the depot, and does it in such a way that we do it all in this crushing. Poke twice under crushing. It is written to store items in the controller. Something about crushing wheels is written. In general, this means that we will have, first of all, a cobblestone there, and also gravel. Here, and then sand will be obtained. It will quickly be evacuated from here, with the help of this funnel. Therefore, we have set up this hand with you, and now we are putting it right here. It looks pretty strange, it's weird, but in general, it will work, this is the most important thing. Then, we take a vertical gearbox, put it here, and also for gears. One, two, three, and four. That's it, everything is spinning now, our hand is as fast as possible, and now there is processing, again very fast in the sand. Then, we finally have the final processing of sand. We will eventually get a sand shower with you, which we will wash and get quartz. We take all the items that we need, quite a lot, but in fact, again, the process is quite simple, if you understand, at least a little warm. Well, maybe not a little, but among a little. We take one depot, we put it under a funnel, which drops our sand of course, because we will work with sand. We are putting up such a special fire shower, a new one that we have from 1165 here, and also from this side. With the help of this fire of showers, we will wash our sand, thereby we will receive sand showers. And then we will need to take a fan in the case, and leave one here so that it looks at us. So I did it a little wrong. For some reason, he's looking in the wrong direction. In short, we take naturally then our wrench, and it will help us in any case. We turn this fan in the case, in such a way that it looks at the bonfire, that is, in the future, and at the depot. We do the same thing from the other side, that is from this one, 
so that this fan looks at the depot and eventually blows into the depot and processes our sand, thereby creating sand showers. Let's immediately set up then and drop not all of this sand shower below, but that is, we will take one brass funnel, put it here and set it up naturally sand shower. That is, we inserted a filter here and that's it. Now the sand shower that will be obtained here will go lower. We are also putting another depot at the bottom. There will already be washing of the shower sand and accordingly obtaining our final product in the form of very small pieces of gold and our nasar quartz and in large quantities. Let's immediately make then the extraction of our everything from here with the depot. To do this, we are putting a lot on the funnel here and we are putting a smart gutter on the bottom. The smart gutter will need to be set up for gold for pieces of gold. We put the filter pieces of gold there and they will perfectly go below. Immediately from the bottom, we put a barrel with you so that everything is stored in a barrel. Also, we put another barrel near this barrel. It will go here already on the square. But before that, you will also need to put one gutter here in this way and here the filter will need to be shoved onto the quartz so that only non-quartz naturally goes here. Op, that's how we poke the PCM and that's it. Now all that remains is to properly power up the whole thing. Place some more fans in the water and in principle, our plant is already fully ready. Let's power up our fans and also install another fan, which will be a level lower. First we take four gears, then we put one, two, three, and also four here. And in front of this gear, you will also need to put a fan. We take it and put it in this way so that it looks at the lower depot. And then we will pour more water here and we will have a washing. But we will not do this yet and we will put a vertical or rather a horizontal gearbox right here. We put it here and it will also need to install our power supply in the form of a fan, like this, a windmill. And it will also need to install one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight sails here. Then we put it right here. It's probably not quite visible, but in general, there is one shaft on the horizontal gearbox and another gearbox here. We put one shaft here, then we take the gears, we put one gear here, up to your gear, and also three gears. We are finally putting our last fan in the housing on this lower gear, so that it looks at the depot, and here in the end, water will be spilled again. Now in principle, we can even start this mill, and everything is spinning, and all the fans are blowing in the right direction. So we can even pour water here already, and in principle, the whole farm is ready again. That is, now we are putting one block here, one block on this side, and one block here and one block here, and we can already pour the first water there. We pour it here and that's it. In principle, it does not spill anywhere, this is what we wanted. And then, we put a block here, and one block here. Before that, we pour water here, because we won't get here anymore. Oop, quickly and that's it. Great, now we have all these fans blowing in the right direction, washing all our sand potential shower, and basically everything, our company is ready. Now we can click on the button located right here on top. We are launching the extraction of all this cobblestone. Here it is mined here, again endlessly, as well as on our iron farm. And this cobblestone is being recycled. Here, as a result, we produce flint, which by the way, here we forgot to pour lava for sure. Here, we have everything going into the trash shorter here. Also the clay that is sometimes produced here, goes into the trash. And here, there is just a overcooking of our glass. More precisely, there is no glass of sand, and it turns out not glass, but sand shower. The sand of the shower we have goes to be washed with water, it is washed, and it turns out Nezra quartz, and also gold nuggets. This is all we have stored here, in a barrel, and in this barrel. Nezra quartz we have, look here, 16 pieces have been worked out, and there are only one piece of gold pieces. In general, you can see, that our ratio is probably somewhere 20 to 1 even. I rationally made this company, only for mining on Zar quartz, and in principle, it seems to me very cool. I probably advise you to build this company somewhere in the middle dashes of the later stages of the game. Because it seems to me that at the initial stages, such a quantity of Nez Quartz cannot be useful to you. But let's say a builder is already developed there, in principle, this company seems to me very useful. It can be made more, or even more such firms can be built. And these firms, first of all, do not lag, that's the plus, and they produce just an incredible amount of Zar Quartz. Here, we have only four cobblestones being mined, and you could already see how quickly it is produced on Zarkorts. You can just puff shit the whole night, just leave your computer on, and you will have just a huge number of quartz blocks. And you can build yourself, let's say, a castle. Well, there was a potato with you as well. Yuxi Jupi.